And finally, today, we get this from WCCF Tech. This dropped a couple days ago. AMD has uh, released details of their latest Ryzen 9 5900 XT and Ryzen 7 5800 XT AM board desktop CPUs, and they will be out July 31st. So that means a new BIOS update is coming for some of you on the uh, AM4 socket. Another BIOS update. Right now, like, I'll show you something real quick if I can. Uh, right, let's look at my motherboard. This I use the BA, B558 Pro. If you notice, this has been going on. This, this, this is the latest beta. Released April 30th. April, May, June, July. Here we are three months. And this thing is still in beta. <laughs> but here's the thing I want you to realize something. If you see this BIOS update uh, for, you know, a GISA uh, 120CA and a patch for a security issue. If you see this BIOS, similar BIOS for your Gigabyte and Azeroth and um, other, you know, if you see this for your board, don't update. There is something secure. This is something wrong with this beta BIOS, but they haven't pulled it yet. And I think the reason why they haven't pulled it yet is they're waiting on this to drop. So there's going to be a new, another BIOS update, another round of BIOS updates released by MSI, uh, Gigabyte, and Asus, and ASRock. So stay away from this. Stay away from this beta because... Uh, I've been reading in the Reddit, some subreddit forums and stuff like that, that this has been bricking some boards. It's been, uh, it, it hasn't uh, been very well received. And since there's a new BIOS coming that's going to support these new processors, it's best to set that out. But anyway, let's continue on with this article here. Uh, AMD's brand new Ryzen 9 5900 XT and Ryzen 7 57 XT CPUs are based on Zen 3's architecture and will debut on July 31st. Uh, these SKUs offer higher core counts and clock speeds than their predecessors and pack a punch. These CPUs are now expected to launch uh, on the same date that Ryzen 9000 Zen 5 desktop CPUs will uh, release for the AM5 platform. Retailers such as B&H Photo, Photo and Video have already started listing the new AM4 CPUs with pre-orders starting from July 31st. In terms of specs, the 5900 XT comes with 16 cores and 32 threads. In addition to the cores, you get an increased 72 megabytes of cache and a 4.8 gigahertz clock speed with a TDP uh, design of 105 watts. Along with that, the Ryzen 7 5800 XT features eight cores 16 threads, 36 megabytes of cache, a 100 megahertz bump in the clock speed to 4.8 gigahertz, and is also rated for 105 watts TDP. As a bonus, you'll be getting the iconic Wraith Prism with these CPUs. So if you don't have a cooler and you're going to buy one, don't worry, it's coming with a cooler. With these variants, AMD certainly desires to stick with the AM4 platform a little while, which is great for PC builders who have an older AM4 motherboard laying around and want to try out something new. And considering the large consumer base for the older socket, it's a decent move. In terms of performance, the 5900 XT and 5800 XT stack up nicely against Intel's 13th Gen Core uh, i7 13700K and the 1316, uh, 13600KF. Hence, they are a decent option for the budget segment, concerning you won't, if you're not going to switch to AM5, like I did with my all-white build, which is going to come out next week. I'll have video next week. I haven't ordered the processor yet because for some god-awful reason, I think it's called holidays, it's called July 4th, uh, the 7800X3D jacked up the $411 when it was 339 so i'm waiting to see if it drops back down to 339 after july 4th i'll probably order it next thursday but anyway back to the article here 
if you're not going to switch, if you're not planning to switch and upgrade to AMP5, and you want a decent CPU, these are good to go because it, I, I, basically I think they're running out of the stock. Stocks and supplies are dwindling for the uh, 5700X3D and 5800X3D. So they're trying to do this to refresh. And uh, now that we have a, a launch date, details regarding the pricing of the new models aren't confirmed. But PC Canada has these chips listed at $366.99 Canadian, which is about $267 here in the United States, and $514.99 Canadian, which is about $375 here. AMD's AM4 platform has been good for us for seven years. And the company has committed to a 2027 plus longevity plan for the AM5 platform. So, yeah, not too bad. And Intel stock is down, of course. <laughs> yeah, but that's your power bill. Oh, man. I, I know. That was, that was a cheap joke. <laughs> that was a cheap joke. <laughs> And uh, I'm I'm better than that. I'm better than that. No, I'm not. Gonzo Media, thanks for watching. Ring the bell, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.